Hello, I'm Daryl Castle. I'm an attorney licensed to practice law in the state of Tennessee, and today I want to give you some tips on debt-free living or how to live without debt. First of all, you have to kind of develop a mindset that debt isn't necessary. Get rid of the debt you have. Pay it off if possible. If not, get rid of it some other way. Consider doing a bankruptcy, perhaps, if you have to do that, and that's the only way you can be rid of it. Some other tips would be don't buy things you can't pay for. Now, how do you do that? Well, let's say that you're on a diet and ice cream is kind of your thing, you know. Well, if, you're, if you don't want to eat ice cream, you probably shouldn't buy it. Don't, don't keep it in your refrigerator. Well, debt is kind of the same way. Don't go and uh, window shop at big screen TV stores and things of that nature. Uh, learn to resist buying things that you can't pay for. This is a consumer-based economy, so the economy wants you to spend on credit, but try to resist that because saving is the key to prosperity. Saving is the key to prosperity. It's tough to do now since we have zero interest rates, but you need to try to do that. One final thing would be uh, don't worry so much about what other people think. Don't care what other people think. Other people are too busy uh, thinking about themselves, their own egos, and what people think about them to care about what you uh, drive, for example. Don't worry that you uh, drive some old car and all your friends have new cars. They don't care. Just stop worrying about what other people think and live your own life. Save some money and be willing to sacrifice. Be willing to sacrifice uh, things like uh, taking your own lunch to work, little things that, uh, that add up over a while. And you'll find that if you do that, you'll be a happier person because you will not be enslaved to debt any longer. If you find you just can't get rid of the debt you have, folks, give me a call. I can help you with that. I think you'll be glad you did.